Hi crafty friends, it's Audra Monk the Crafty Yogi and welcome to the Crafty Corner. I'm so happy to have you here. Um, I'm going to repeat that introduction in just a moment. Let me make sure that we are actually live because you know every week I uh, do this and then I realize I forgot to press the button. So if you're early, you always get to enjoy that fun part if you get here a little bit later. All right, let me scroll down on my computer. Uh, if you get here a little later, it's not quite so crazy, usually. Um, let's see. Got a little circle. And yay, we're here. Okay. All right, let's try that again. Hi, crafty friends. It's Audra Monk, uh, the Crafty Yogi, and welcome to the Crafty Corner for some Sunday night crafting. Let's see. There we go. Um, so tonight, you know, we're gonna, I'm gonna wing it a little bit. Um, I did have a class today. I had a couple people come and make some wonderful boxes with me and that was super fun. Um, but today we're gonna talk about the Tags in Bloom stamp set. Okay, so before I turn us down to the bottom camera, um, if you're watching and you see a little live in the corner, you're here with me right now. Give me a like, give me a love, say hello. I would love to know that you're here. If you're watching and there's no little live, it just means it's the recording, and that is totally fine, especially if you find it on YouTube. It's not live, it's just a recording. Um, but I'm always happy to answer your questions um, as needed. So let's get started. Okay, there we go. So we are gonna play with Tags and Bloom. So I have mental pictures. You can't see me spinning my fingers around my head. I have mental pictures um, of what I, we might make. This stamp set, let me show you. So it's still celebration, so a little housekeeping. It goes till the end of the month. Uh, with every $50 or $100 you spend, you get to get free stamp sets. Like last week we played with this, which my um, Mary Poppins stamp uh, card is on my list for tomorrow. It's in my head and I just gotta get it out. Um, where is today's stamp set? Here we go. Okay, so with a $100 purchase, you get this stamp set. It's a big one. It has um, a few flower images. It has words. These are two-step uh, images, which we're going to try tonight um, to use. So we're going to do that. Okay, if you ever need help shopping, just contact me. I will help you shop. I'm really good at shopping. Uh, maybe you're good at shopping, too. Okay, so this is the stamp set. And... What we're gonna do first is stamp this, and we're gonna um, we're gonna pick a color. So we're gonna use from our. If you're like, well, what could I buy? Um, look at that. That's so funny. I didn't even mark the page. We're gonna use this best dressed uh, designer series paper. We're gonna play with some of the flowers and some of the uh, things. Okay, so it's that ribbon. Do I have that ribbon out? Yes. So if I decide to use this ribbon, we can do it. Okay. So that's what we're gonna play with. Let's get some white paper to start. And I did put it on blocks already, so I got that far done. Hi, I see some friends are here. Welcome. Welcome. Hello, Louise. Hello, Darlene. Hi, Emily. Yay! This makes a girl super happy to know that there are friends here. It really does. Okay, so we are going to stamp in... Let's put some ink pads away. We are going to stamp in some memento. This... Uh, big one although you might have to watch me fussy cut it out I think we are going to because uh, I think it'll look nice so we're gonna stamp this this flower this is what we want to play with and I'm gonna stamp it a couple times because and we'll see if we need foam because this is a photopolymer set so let's see oh that came out nicely oh my god now how in the world could I get a dot that had to be on the paper because there's nothing here <laughs> so let's stamp this a couple times so you could color this. This is an excellent image for coloring with your Stampin' Blends. It's also, since it comes with two-step stamping, I thought, well, that could be faster. So we're gonna stamp this a few times on this piece of paper. There we go. We're gonna let it dry a little bit. Let's get a couple more, because I, I have a couple ideas. And we're gonna try to make two cards, if it doesn't take too long. Because I like these videos to be about a half hour, because that's about how much time most of us have to play around. And there we go. Okay. Let's get four of these on here. And then if we need another one, we'll stamp it. Good. Okay. And then the other thing you could buy, besides the best dressed paper, is the punches that coordinate with this. And you're going to laugh. I wasn't going to buy the punches. I'm like, oh, I have plenty of punches. 
why do I need another punch? And then Stampin' Up! said, hey, do you want this free stamp set? And I was like, yes. I miss your face sending hugs. I was like, yes. And so I ordered the punches. And I went ahead and ordered both. We use this, we're using this in class this week. This uh, little frame in the Just For You and that punch. So I ordered it. Because, um, you know, then I got this free stamp set. Okay, we got those. Let's shake those out a little bit. All right, and now let's see. I picked out two sets of paper that we are going to play with. Um, I think I'm going to do it this way. So I'm thinking stripes and flowers and then these diagonal lines and flowers. Okay, so the decision is, so let's do this card first. Because do I have my, oh good, I do have my chamois so I can clean the stamps. Okay, so we, I'm thinking the leaves are old olive. Okay, so we get out our old olive ink pad. And then these flowers are, let's see, what do you guess? Um, it says lovely lipstick and petal pink. Okay, so that's, and what do you think that color? Oh, I'm, that might be Blackberry Bliss. Or no, that's probably lovely lipstick and this is petal pink. So let's go, we're going to go soft to start. Let me find my petal pink. Okay, so what I'm going to attempt to do and now, if you use your Stamparatus, once you get it set up, you could do a bunch of these. Um, I'm not going to fiddle with that right now, but we're going to get here. Okay, so the flowers. So how a two-step stamp works is you've stepped the, stamped the outline, and then you come down. It is sized to fit it just right, and if it's not perfect, it's okay. And we have petals. Okay, yeah, see, I'm a little, hmm, I'm like mostly on there. Let's do it again. You know what, I'm going to stamp that off one. Okay, let's not stamp it off. Let's see. So this is the first time I've used this part of the stamp, but there we go. Okay, so we have some petal pink flowers. And then we're going to do some green leaves and so they actually oh and then we'll do the center they so the leaves um it's two of them hold on you guys are gonna laugh i gotta take my sweatshirt off these lights get hot here or maybe i'm getting hot here you never know you never know okay uh let's see how does this go look at that all right that's how it goes so this is old olive which is also in the dsp And of course, I can't get it on exactly right. But that's okay, because this is going to happen when you do it, too. So it's good to know. Just do it again. Um, and then we need this sleeve. Let's see if I got So usually it helps to be right on top, like directly your eyes looking down. Let's do that one one more time. Can I get that little corner? Okay, I'm all right with that. So there we go. Isn't that cute? It's so pretty. And then we're going to do another one just the same. Just the same. Hi, Natalie. Oh, I know that paper is so pretty. If you like flowers, okay, and if you like bags and lipsticks, it is a great paper. So we want to do another one. Do we? You know what? Hmm. Okay, so here, what do you guys think? That flower, I don't like that. So I think we need lovely lipstick instead. This must just be stamped off lovely lipstick. Either that or I picked out the wrong color. Let's look. It says petal pink, but I feel like the other one is petal pink. I feel like this is petal pink. Oh, good. So maybe we'll use those for that. Okay. So let's do one in lovely lipstick. Lovely lipstick. Can I get the ink pad out? Okay. Let's close this one. Now, since I'm going from light to dark, I'm just going to stamp this off and use it. I don't have to clean it. If I was going dark to light, I would clean it, just so you know. All right. Do we want to go? Yeah, I think we want to go bold. Let's try it out. I'm going to stamp it off. I don't know. I can never decide. There we go. All right, let's see. Do we like that? Yes, I do like that. Okay, let's see if we can do the green again. Oh, you know what? We're going to do that again. 
Um, but this one I'm going to stamp off and make it lighter. Make sure. Okay. Sometimes I get going and I don't remember that there's a camera and it needs to be so you can see it. Good. Ooh, that's what I like. Okay, so I like Lovely Lipstick stamped off for this one. And that's a lot of times you just have to experiment. You don't know what you're going to like. You don't know how it's going to come out. Ooh, yes, I got a good one until you do it. And then I'll do a yellow center like they did. Okay, so leaves. Mm, I got to pick one. All right, these leaves. Ah, this is the one that goes here. It's like a little puzzle. Yeah, baby. Now I'm getting in the groove. Now we're, what do they say? Now we're cooking with gas. I think that's a funny expression, and I actually do use it sometimes. Okay, see, I got all ahead of myself. I'm like, ooh, now I'm rocking it. There we go. All right, and then we need these leaves. I'm gonna do those again. Yeah. All right. Let's turn that over. There we go. And that one's done. Okay. So now we need the little centers. See? Yeah. Much better. I know. The light is pretty. That is just too dark for me. And then the little centers. So I got that out. I think that yellow is daffodil delight. I'm just gonna. There may be too much winging it going on tonight. Okay. I'm going to put it for all of them. Yeah. I'll have to go ahead and put this one. I'll use it on something. I'll do the leaves later. All right. And a little yellow center here. And a little yellow center here. Okay. And then let's close these up. Words. The words are going to go in black, I think. Okay, so what were my choices? Ooh, hold on. I had this out. Um, I used that flower on something earlier, but I saw this birthdays are the best days, and I was like, oh, I love that. Um, express and these flowers, I'll show you this set again real fast. Um, beautiful friendship. This has, um, I think these are like, hydrangeas maybe and these are I don't know roses these flat these um sets it's already what do you call it the shading is built into the stamp those are super fun so now that I remember this was sitting here we're going to use this birthdays the best days because birthday cards are always good and then I think I'm gonna put the I, I love the I miss your face I feel like I should send it to one of you guys watching me so, um, because I do miss some. Natalie, I miss your face for real. Oh, wait, and I don't want to put it there. I want to put this on separate because you're going to see. Um, do I want that border? Mm, we'll see. We will see. How many layers are we going to make? Birthdays are the best days. And wishing you the best is pretty, too. Wishing you the best. I'm gonna run out of blocks here. Oh, see, here's that flower. I didn't put it away yet. So I got... <sighs> that flower was a little sad. I um, had to make some flyers. We closed our yoga studio for a couple weeks, and so I can't just put a plain flyer on the door. I had to put some flowers on it, so I put some of those on there. All right, wishing you the best. All right, on this one we're gonna... So one we're gonna go simple, and one we're gonna go super fun overboard a little bit. Yay, that one's good. Okay, this one. And so we got one more stamp. One more stamp. Do I have any more blocks? <laughs> All right, we're gonna use this huge box now. I have so much to get cleaned up and apparently I will have some extra time to work on it. Okay, I think that'll fit. I want to do this in stamped off lovely lipstick. Or do I want to do it in yellow? Do I want to do it in green? We're going to try stamped off lovely lipstick. Okay, let's get, I don't know if it's going to fit on that piece of paper. Uh, I'm going to grab that piece. Here we go. I'm going to grab some more. Of 
course, I just stamped it the wrong way, but that's okay. Yeah. Okay, let's try that. So let's see if we can make a card. We're just going to make one card, and then we'll talk about the other card, and then I'll send you on your way. Okay, so because we have to cut this out, we, meaning me, we have to cut it out twice. So you get to enjoy the cutting out. All right, so as we're cutting things out, um, let's see, what is your favorite paper craft to make? Like, do you like making cards the most? Do you like making like home decor, like samplers and wreaths? Um, or is it boxes? Like, you know, you can like it all. I like it all. But what is your favorite? So think about that and let me know. Let me know what your favorite is. Okay, and then I'm cutting this out because I'm not sure. Um, oh, I just thought of a better way. All right. Um, yeah, so let's see. Sorry, it's hard to think and cut, but uh, yeah. So me, let's see. Let's see if anybody, nope, nobody's commenting. Um, I, what do I like best? I think I do like cards the best, but what am I the most tickled with? I am the most tickled with boxes. Like we had the little box class today um, and the boxes were just so cute once you get them all together. I'm just amazed. Now I wish that I could think of how to make them really cool and these crazy measurements and stuff. But I'm glad that people share because they do that. And I'm just so impressed with it. Oh, isn't that pretty? Look how pretty that is. Okay, we're going to do it again because I thought, what if you're going a little overboard? So this is an overboard card. Oh, you know what else I really, sorry. See, I'm distracting my own self. What I really like also is I like all those little albums that you can make with paper. I'm planning to make one this week because I want to play with it. A little bit um, oh you know what I like scrapbooking I feel like a uh, Forrest Gump you know when he's talking to the guy about shrimp and there's like you know shrimp uh, fried shrimp and steam shrimp and shrimp etouffee and whatever so I'm like there's cards and there's boxes and there's scrapbooks and there's little photo albums and there's samplers and there's wreaths and there's banners there is a lot of fun stuff you can make with paper. And I have loved playing with paper since I was a little girl. And before, it used to just be, you know, uh, notebook paper and scotch tape and scissors. Uh, you know, sometimes you got lucky and got some colored paper, but now, now I have all the paper. Ah, uh, so Natalie, you like cards. Yeah, I like cards because you when you send, it's like, you get to be creative and then you get to share it because you can mail it to a friend. And you know, if they don't keep it forever, I am okay with that because you know what? The whole, like how many things do we need in our house kind of thing. But yes, I love sending cards. So this is what I was thinking. Look like this. Isn't that pretty? Um, guys, this card is going to be amazing. Let's punch this out. And you, you know I stamped this wrong, so because the punch goes this way. I should have stamped it the other way. So we're just gonna whack it off. Whack it off and bring it in there. Ugh. This is what I wanted to see. What does it look like? And you know what, I think I gotta stamp my birthdays are the best days on this. Because I don't really need three layers of paper. All right, let's stamp birthdays are the best days because I kept it on a block, right? Yeah. And I think we all need to send birthday cards. We do. And just a tip, okay? My birthday is in April. You should send me a birthday card. And you know what? Oh, guys, look how pretty that is. And we're going to pop. Oh, my gosh. That is amazing. Um, yes, and I have been lax on birthday cards. I have a nice, big, happy Stampin' Up! team. And I have not been sending birthday cards. And I think we're going to start. So, hey, people on my team watching, because I know a lot of you um, are... We are going to start a birthday card club, 
and you can give your birthday and your address that, and um, you know what maybe I'll start one for like on my page um, too so um, yes yes I am gonna do that all right let's get some paper all right I'm gonna think about that we are gonna start a birthday card club and I could make a, a file I think um, and you can put your address there and you can say when your birthday is and then if people want to send you a card they can oh my gosh that'd be so fun I did this um, okay here's my idea blah, 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 blah. my idea is it's gonna be four and a quarter so it's four but I really want it to be you guys I have this is a gonna be a cool card I have a really good idea now you maybe if you make this big fancy card you may not want to send this to a stranger However, you might, because what if you make two of them? Or what if you make a more simple card? Um, that's three and a half. That's what I want. Okay. And I'm just making this up out of my head. You know, I wasn't, I didn't have time to really think about it. Well, I did. Is anyone, see, I am so distracted with this whole, um, yeah, that's five and a quarter. So I'm going to go three and a half. I'm going to do, no, I don't even need three and a half. All right, hold on. Let's cut this at five and a, uh, no, five and, five and an eighth. Am I, I, yeah. So anyway, I've been very distracted. This whole like, you know, weird stuff going on has definitely distracted me. And I find myself looking at Facebook way too much. Like not even like at, um, cool craft ideas like just looking at random stuff seeing what's going on what are people talking about okay so now I'm gonna cut this to nope I want it this way uh, let's just cut it at three-fourths so we'll see I had this idea of doing like the layers and then doing black so Let's, okay, let's practice. So wait a minute. And I thought we'd put it on the green. So let me, this is what I do a lot of times. So you're seeing how like I create a card. Sometimes I have a picture and I know exactly what it's gonna be. Sometimes I just have an idea like, oh, I've seen a lot of cards with stripes on the edge and, um, hold on, there we go. And, uh, and then flowers or something. And so I think I wanna do something like that. And I may not know exactly what it is but, where's the piece? But I do have it in my head. Okay, so yes, okay, I like that. So what I was thinking is something like that and something like this, but I wanna mat these in black. That way when you put this in, oh my goodness, guys. So I think more stripes, more stripes and less flowers. Okay, let's try that. But then you're gonna get this really cute card, more stripes. So that was three fourths. We're gonna go one and a half with stripes. And then we're gonna mat it all in black and then put it on our green card is my, my guess. All right, and what did I do for this one? I think I want this, actually, I want this to be, okay, five and a quarter would be there. I want it to be less than that because I wanna see the green. All right, let's try this. Okay, so now I need some black. And I will tell you, I don't, you're going to laugh. I usually craft with my guillotine cutter. So this always throws me a little bit. Okay, so I want to go five and a quarter. What is this? And this is one and a quarter. So five and a quarter and one and three eighths. Let's see if I can replicate that. Uh, one and three eighths. So just this, uh, it's an eighth over the one. Okay, and then this one should be five and a quarter. And if you talk out loud and you sing, it makes the crafting better, just so you know. In case you're wondering, it's okay. Of course, I'm talking out loud because I'm making a video, but it's definitely okay if you're talking out loud and you're not making a video. Okay. And then you test it because sometimes, you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna cut that and you're gonna have cut it all wrong. But I cut it just right, that makes me very happy. Okay, and so then this needs to be, hold on, let's fold this in half. So let's see how much smaller I wanna make it. Bone folder here. Okay. Yes, that makes 
makes me happy. I almost feel like I should emboss this front, but um, I want that to be a little smaller and a little shorter. I don't want it to overlap so much. So we're gonna take, I'm gonna take a half inch off and see how that works. How big is it? It is, oh, you know what, we're just gonna do it this way. Let's just take a half inch off because I made it a um, an eighth because I wanna do the, yeah. All right, so now we need to cut black to go around this. And this is, so good, our black will be three by, I'm gonna take this down a, a little bit too. Three, nope, let's go a half inch off that. Three by, Okay, so three by um, four and seven eighths. Three, that's the easy one. By four and seven eighths. And I know I've told you guys this before. I used to would say like four and three fourths and two lines. And then after many, many years of much cutting, I now can know my fractions pretty well. Isn't that funny? And I was terrible in math. Look at that. Super pretty. I was not very good in math at school. Um, I was okay. And then, you know, I don't know. Ah, uh, snail. Oh, so see, this is like the back. See, they're shoes. And you want, let's, let's see, it's on. And this has little perfume bottles. It's very, very cute paper. If you like all that really, of course, I picked the one that. If you like that girly stuff, uh, this paper is nice. And I want to say maybe it's $14.50 and it's six by six paper. And uh, maybe, I don't know, you get four sheets of each. I don't know. I'd have to read the bag. It's here somewhere. Okay, let's put this on. Yeah, so now I've committed, right? I didn't double check that I liked it, but I've committed. Okay, let's put the stripes on. I went a little crazy with that adhesive. Good. And we have stripes. That'll get that adhesive off. Okay, so I was thinking the garden green because there's a lot of green in these flowers. Yes, I'm happy with that. Okay, and then we're gonna pick up this cute little doohickey here. Don't worry, I'm gonna attach it all. I'm just double checking. And trying to decide, <gasps> look at that. Isn't that the prettiest card you ever saw? Look, wait, I'm gonna zoom it in. Whoa, sorry. Ooh, look at that. That is really cute. I don't even think it needs ribbon. Nope, I think we're gonna go with no ribbon. All right, let's see if I can keep it right there and I can make it. Look at that. All right, so we're gonna put this on. So this thing is cool. Because you can do just one, or you can do the layers. And in a second, I'm going to punch. We're going to punch out and see what happens when we punch the other side. We won't make another whole card together. Because you may have to go watch TV with your honey. Or do something else. And if you want to make this card, uh, let's see. So tomorrow, I will add the measurements to the description because there's no way if you want to make this I was rambling I was recutting um, it will be a little tricky so tomorrow I will add the description to the uh, in the comments on Facebook and on YouTube I'll put it down okay so let's build this little doohickey all right so I'm thinking just snail And I am going to double dimensional on this bad boy. All right, so I'm going to put that. Whoa, ooh, don't stick it down. I was off. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. And then I'm going to put dimensionals on this. 
So a lot of times I don't double dimensional, but the rest of the card, I think this will mail just fine because I do feel it's important that you should be able to mail your cards. Although occasionally you can make a really crazy, awesome, fun card and, you know, put it in a bag or hand it to someone. Okay, let's put this on. And then we're going to put this on. You know what? I don't need to dimensional that. I like that. Okay, so we're going to glue dot that. So you could snail, but a lot of times when I have two layers like this, I prefer glue dots. And I also like glue dots because I feel they actually give just a little bit of dimension to your project. <gasps> do I want to do that? No. Okay. I have a new, t I saw, I haven't tried it yet. Um, where the, oh, it's on my thumb. I saw this technique where you color the edges um, the same color as the back of your card and um, I want to play with it first and I'll make a card and share it because um, you know it's so cool like all the stuff you can see with cards okay and I think one more so I'm gonna go a little glue dot crazy okay so now I'm gonna put this here and you could add you know I think you could add um, that silver thread you could add some twine but you could do that and let the paper and the pretty flowers, look at my pretty flowers, uh, do the talking. So there is um, a, our card made with the tags in bloom. And let's punch this out real quick, the one that we messed up. I want to see what the punch does um, for the big one because... To me, it's going to cut it out. And don't worry, I'm going to make a card, and I'll show. I'll also make that card tomorrow and show it to you. I'm not going to make it tonight. I'm going to leave everything in a giant mess and go watch some TV. Oops. All right. Oh, another tip. I do share this tip a lot. So if you can't handle your thing just right, I'm on the edge. You can make a little, I call it a tail or a tab. Put a little piece of snail on a little piece of paper, and now you can maneuver it in your punch. Okay, so this does, this punch is inside. Ooh, I just lost a little light. I mean, it's a video, look at that. So it punches, oh, what if it was a shaker card? Okay, we'll play some more later, but it punches inside. So you could stamp this and pop it up and keep it simple. Uh, lots of ways to play with it. So here you go. Here is your card. Oops. There you go. All right. Let me chat. All right. So there's your card. Um, thank you for watching. I'm so happy that you are here. Let's see. Oh, there's a couple of people still here. I was just wondering if they were still here. Um, thank you so much. Give me a like. Give me a love. Let me know that you're watching. If you ever um, need any information about ordering Stampin' Up! products or my classes um, at my home, let me know and I'll fill you in. So have a wonderful evening. A great week. Stay positive. Stay happy. Stay crafty. And I will see you next time. Okay, bye.